This is Nina Curley of WAMDA Media. I'm sitting here in the WAMDA office at Cloud5 with Elias Ghanim, the general manager for PayPal in the Middle East and North Africa. Elias, how are you today? Marhaba, Nina. Marhaba, good to see you. Um, so we've had, we've fielded a bunch of questions from our readers on Twitter and through email. Um, and we just wanted to give them a little overview of PayPal, what you're up to, how it works, and where you're expanding. Um, could you begin with giving us a quick overview for everyone that might want to sign up um, of the difference between a consumer and a merchant account and where those are enabled and then what the process is for signing up? Fantastic. First of all, I think I'm very excited to be in Wanda today. I'm seeing how people are coming to Wanda to get information and I think it's a great place to be and, and engage with the community. So let me walk you through the value proposition of PayPal from a consumer as well as from a merchant perspective. From a consumer perspective, you can open today a PayPal account across all the, the region, which means all the GCC, as well as Jordan, as well as Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia. You can open a merchant account across all the GCC, excluding Yemen, as well as Jordan, as well as Morocco, and Algeria. You cannot open any PayPal account yet in two markets, which are uh, Egypt and Lebanon coming. Now let me walk you how to open a PayPal account in any one of the markets. As a consumer or as a merchant, it's just about going on paypal.com-ae for uh, UAE or whatever is the country, you just have to select the country. Put your personal information, first name, last name, address, put your financial credit card, uh, your financial instrument, either a credit card, a debit card, a prepaid card, being Visa, MasterCard or American Express. Select a, a username, an email, as well as a passport and you're done. That's Now you have a consumer PayPal account. To open a merchant PayPal account, same procedures, first name, last name, name of the legal entity your address, and a payment instrument to withdraw the balance, which could be either the same card that you've put it, but it must be only a Visa card issued locally by some banks. So you want to check with your banks if the banks allow that. So you can link it to your PayPal account and you can withdraw your balance. Excellent. Um, so the first question that most of our readers had was, um, when is PayPal opening in their country? Um, so we had people asking, uh, when will PayPal fully activate its merchant accounts in um, Lebanon, Egypt, which you just mentioned? Um, we also had questions from Yemen, from Pakistan, and about the West Bank. Um, what would you say to these readers? Coming, I would say, inshallah. But let me go beyond that. So we have different places that you described here. Let me start by the, the closest uh, in terms of timing. A Egypt and Lebanon will come sometime soon. We are in the discussions, we are in the make of uh, making it happen. The West Bank, not yet in any plan to happen anytime soon. Pakistan is not in my region, so I wouldn't comment on it. Yemen and Tunisia, today you can open a consumer account there will be sometime soon an upgrade so you can have also a merchant account. Great. Um, and when will PayPal have an Arabic interface? Inshallah, come in. There is a lot of the roadmap of PayPal in the Middle East is quite wide. We are progressing as we go on different activities. So one of the, what we know a lot is the Arab community, the Middle East and North Africa community is looking for to engage with us in Arabic. We are, as we speak, working on an Arabic site, as well as potentially a customer service in Arabic as well. Great. Um, and can users send payments as a gift currently in the Middle East? So this is what we describe as P2P, uh, person to person. The functionality is not enabled in the Middle East of sending uh, to friends and relatives. There is always, there must be always a good or service underlying the transaction. We had a few readers asking, you've mentioned that how the merchant accounts are enabled in the UAE and the, and the rest of the GCC as well as Jordan. Um, 
They were asking how they can connect a PayPal account directly to a local bank account in Jordan or the UAE without going through a U.S. bank or, I'm assuming, a Visa card. Um, can you speak to that? Of course. So today, to withdraw as a merchant, to withdraw, you have two options. Either you set up a bank in the U.S. and you withdraw it. We know that it's not something very common. Or you link to it a Visa card and only a Visa card issued in the Middle East. Not all visa cards are allowed to do that. You need to check with your bank if the visa card is enabled. But it's not restrictive to credit. It's credit, debit, prepaid visa cards. Now, the opportunity is to be able to withdraw to local banks. You cannot do it yet in the Middle East, but I can rest assured that we are, as we speak, working on different partnerships as well as different solutions. And stay tuned because we will be announcing improvement as we go. Good to hear.